Hey guys, my name is Nirina Gori and I'm here with an exciting announcement. There's a series that I've been planning for very long. See, I'm not an expert in all fields, but I know my field very well. Why did I choose CA? Why did I choose CPA? Why did I choose CISA? So I've been planning this series for long. I want to at least share the information with you guys about all the different courses that are out there, especially if you are interested in the world of finance. What is it that you can do? So I'm definitely not the expert in the world of finance, but I do have some information to at least make sure that this journey can be slightly easier for you. So you will see a bunch of videos that will come out. These will be very short, few minutes here and there. I'm gonna definitely cap it at five minutes so you won't get bored. But at the end of every video, you will take away a lot of information with you. So that's the goal. And I hope that you guys enjoy these videos and I hope these videos are crisp informative, at the same time, extremely helpful. So today's topic, just to start the conversation off, is why is it that I think CA is not the limit? Now, CA is, um, you know, Chartered Accountancy from India. Most of my audience is from India. If you're not from India, that's completely fine. CA anywhere, like your Chartered Accountancy equivalent, whichever country you're in. Basically, why is one certification not enough? Well, the world is globalizing at a very, very fast pace. Now, why do I say CA is not enough? CA is enough to get you maybe the first job. I got my first job based on CA um, in the US. I got my second job on the basis of my CA in the US. So why do I then say that CA is not enough? Well, because you can get the first or second job, but you will not see any career escalation happening with just one uh, degree that probably does not uh, come from a developed country. So that's the reason why I decided to do CPA. The kind of opportunities that I got after CPA were completely different. And trust me, I've done CA, so I can tell you this, CPA doesn't even come close to the amount of knowledge that we gain in CA. Yet I felt that the opportunities were extremely different just right after I got my CPA done and I got my licensing. So because of globalization, it is at this point important that you start considering courses from developed countries, especially if you intend to go and work in those countries. So if you have decided to pursue something else apart from what you're doing, your conventional studying or conventional certification, then how do you choose? There are so many options available. You know, there's CPA, there's ACCA, there's CIA, there's EA. How do you then make the right pick? So today I'm going to give you five ways, five tips that you can use to make sure that you are picking the right choice for yourself. Number one, do not follow the rat race. That's literally the first thing that I want you guys to know. I did CA because all my friends were doing CA and I ended up enrolling in the course and then life took its turn and I became a CA. I did not make that same mistake with CPA. I did my research. I figured what is it that I really see myself doing long term and then that's how I picked up CPA and that's how I picked up CISA. So first of all, do not follow rat race. Do not do a course just because a friend or um, your partner or your best friend is doing it or your cousin is doing it. No, do your own research. And that's number two. Do your own research. I've made a video on this. I've compared a few courses here and there. So my YouTube has a couple of videos. I will link them up if you're able to see them on the screen. Um, just the thumbnails here. So you can go watch these videos if you have some time and figure out what are the different courses that are up for grabs. What is it that you can do uh, to make sure that you are choosing the right career path for you? Now, even after these videos, if you have some confusion, then number three, go to institutes which can actually guide you with your career plan. So for that, I will recommend VG Learning Destination, not because, you know, their logo is on the screen. No, not at all. I'm going to do that only because if you go to an institute that sells only one course, so if you go to XYZ Institute that sells only CPA, and if you ask them, is CPA good for me? Obviously, they're going to tell you, hey, CPA is great for you. Do CPA because they are only selling that one product. So their revenue only comes from that one product. You have to go to an institute which is dealing in multiple products and where there are experts that can help guide you according to your career plans. If you want to do taxation, they will ask you to do EA along with CPA, maybe or without CPA, depending on the experience that you have. If you want to live in the Europe, you will probably be advised to do ACCA. So I'm just saying, if you think that your research is not enough, or if you're not very confident, 
go to an institute like VG Learning where you're basically going to get free help in terms of understanding what are the different options out there and you will be able to make your pick accordingly. Whichever institute you pick, please do not go to an institute that sells only one course or sells only two courses because then their revenue is tied to you saying yes to that course. So that is something that you really have to keep in mind. Number three, ask your peers, ask your seniors, ask your cousins. Don't ask people who've done the same course. Obviously, if you're going to ask three people who've all done CPA, they're going to tell you, yeah, CPA is good or CPA is not good. Uh, but you want somebody who's had a plethora of experience in terms of understanding what different courses are or ask two people who've done two different courses. So maybe ask somebody who's done a CPA, hey, how did CPA benefit you? And ask somebody who's done an ACCA, hey, how did ACCA benefit you? Learn from their experiences and ask them why is it that they chose certain courses. That's really going to help you understand which course is right for you. And fifth and most important, understand the financial undertaking that every course requires and whether you have the financial capacity or you have the requisite credits or educational degree and details that is required. That is extremely important. I can tell you from my own experience and you will see it in the upcoming video that CPA wasn't that easy because it's just a very, very confusing process. And if you don't have the right guide, you will really end up messing the process for yourself. So make sure that you have the requisite details you need, like make sure you have the requisite educational experience, make sure you have the requisite credits, etc. before you set your heart in one course. I do not want you to invest money and then figure out, oh, wow, like this is not working for me. So these are the five points. Please make sure you use them. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. In the coming weeks, I'm going to introduce a lot many courses to you in the hope that you will consider any one of these or one of these as your career options. By no means am I saying do a particular course or do a particular, go to a particular institute, not at all. What I'm really trying to do is guide you with your journey and share the experience that I have collected while coming to do CPA myself or while coming to do CISA myself. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, please make sure you take care of yourself and stay smiling.